What is going on guys, Tizwafa here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now, last time we left off, we recruited Befica back to Snacksburg. I want to go see what she's up to. I want to interview her because we didn't have enough time last episode to interview her. So let's go see what she's up to, see what she says. And then maybe we'll even go catch some more Bug Snacks because I think we're up to, I think, six out of the 12 Bug Snacks to donate to whatever that one guy's name was. Gramble, I think. Was it this guy? Yep, Gramble there. Uh, let's go check that real quick before we interview Befica. Uh, yeah, 6 out of 12, so maybe we'll go back to the beach. Like I said, I... I oh, hey, how's it going there, Gramble? Like I said, at the beach, uh, I, I did think of a way that we're possibly able to tame those... Or catch those... Uh, I guess I, I'll probably say tame a lot when I actually mean catch. But I, I, I figured out a way where we could potentially catch those pineapple guys. What I want to do is, is get the crab guy, the crabble, to attack the pineapple by... Covering the pineapple in chocolate, because I think the crab one really likes chocolate, I think. I think that's how it goes. So I feel like that strategy might work over in, uh, what's it called? Simmering Springs. Where's the crab guy? Here it is right here. Yeah, he loves chocolate. So yeah, if, if we can get him to kind of snip at the pineapple guy and make him come out of the ground, we might be able to catch him that way. So that's going to be really good. And we have a lot of different creatures here still that we can catch. So maybe we'll see what's over there, and then we'll just get that number up and get up to, to six to donate to, uh... What's his name? Gramble. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to these guys' names. Anyways, speaking of people's names, let's talk to Befica and let's see uh, what she has to say. Let's interview her. Oh, wait, what happened right there? There we go. Have time for an interview? I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. Start interview. All right, well, let's see what she says. Probably knows a lot about all the different people here. She seems all the way uh, up to date with all the rumors and stuff. Who are you, Befica? I'm Befica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Oh, okay. That's one way to describe yourself. <laughs> sure, but what do you do professionally? <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. Yeah, she likes rumors and stuff. Yeah, as we already figured out, so I guess that's one way to put it. Information specialist? <laughs> Why'd you come to Snacktooth Island? I'm here on vacay. Related fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? What's that supposed to mean? Is that, are you saying that you can like kill people and get away with it and not get like arrested? Maybe that's what happened to uh, Lisbert perhaps. I did get some comments on last episode being very suspicious about Ramble and the way that he behaved and how he didn't want to answer our questions and, and how he was like, yeah, just don't interview me ever again. And I definitely agree with that. I'm kind of suspicious of Gramble now. I wonder if we can talk to him again, but I don't know. I've kind of got my eye on him. Either way, back to the interview. Is that fun fact unrelated? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you, I wonder what she did to her friends to warrant leaving to an, an area with no international laws. <laughs> Seems crazy. Seems kind of suspicious. I need to start getting suspicious of everyone here, honestly. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do. You do? Well, you only have one arm as like a wiener, so I don't even believe that you've eaten one, because we still don't know why some of these guys, I, like, over time, does it, like, go back to normal or, or what? I don't know. Because every time we come across a grump, it's, it's, their limbs are all completely normal. They don't have, like, hot dogs for limbs like Befica has right now. So hopefully the game explains that a little bit later on. <laughs> I'm very curious about that. Why did you leave town? Ugh, there's drama and then there's drama. We have too many Geminis around here and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. What? Okay, she's like into astrology now. <laughs> and that's why you were living in a cave? But what specifically made you want to leave? Eh, let's do the cave one. And that's why you were living in a cave? Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Ooh, but I thought she didn't like Wambus because she'd like, uh, he, he warded off all the hot dog guys that she likes. I don't know. I guess it was a love-hate relationship with him, perhaps. I don't know. But what specifically made you want to leave? Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. Uh, what crimes? There, there's no international laws here. I don't know what crimes you're talking about. <laughs> Any info on Lizbert? What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. 
Ooh. If anyone's gonna know anything about Lisbur, it's probably gonna be Befica. Let's continue asking. Please answer the question. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Ooh, what's that? Okay, I'll buy it. What is her weakness? What happened to Lisbur? Yeah, what's her weakness? Agabel. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Ooh. Yeah, see, we, we, we keep hearing about Agabel with Lisbur. I, I assume perhaps we could find Agabel and then Agabel will lead us to Lisbur. That'd be really good if we could actually do that. But uh, she's probably going to be like on the opposite side of the island, to be quite honest. It's going to be later on in the game, I assume. What happened to Lisbur? Liz and Agabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? Ooh, by the sounds of that, maybe we're going to get onto that now. I was, I was saying, yeah, maybe we're going to do all that stuff at the end of the game, but no, it sounds like we might be able to figure out where they're at now. Let's see. That's everything. Thanks, Beth. All right, well, that's that's a pretty good clue. No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. How did you come by that key? How many more secrets are you keeping? <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. Bevica gave you Liz's cabinet key. Check your journal for details. Yeah, didn't we get another key? I forgot what it was, like to her, to Liz's journal or something like that. Let me see, where is that on this? It's not this. Is, is it this? It is. This is cabinet diary key. Gramble gave you the small key that seems to go to a locked diary. Ooh. So we have Liz's diary, or Liz Burt's diary key, and her cabinet key. Wait, no. This just says diary key. It doesn't say it's Liz Burt's. Hmm. Okay, well, that's good to have. And then this thing. I did get some comments from you guys saying that the, 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 like, engraving on that stone, like, gateway or whatever that we came across. Kind of looked like this illustration. I don't know. I'd have to go back there and kind of compare them next to each other, but you guys might be onto something there. Strange device notes. Hmm. And then this thing, I can't really do anything about this. A report on Lisbert's discovery of bug snacks. It was included along with her invitation to Snack Tooth Island. Sadly, the photos are all blurry, and yeah, we can't see them, unfortunately. So that sucks. But yeah, let's continue trying to find. Oh, she's got like pictures of uh, like a shrabby on top of her head and a selfie of herself right there. Can I uh, zoom in on this? And uh, her with Lisbert right there. Lisbert patting her on the head. Oh, I could scan these. Recent photos from Befica's snack scope, though a few look older. Ooh. And then she loves the fryder thing on the right side there. And then, who is that on the top? Oh, that's uh, Wambert, or Wambus, that are on the top right with uh, Lisbert. Or, uh, God, Befica. I I'm starting to learn their names now, I'm mixing them up. Sheesh. But there you go, scan that. Is there anything else here I can scan? Scan this thing. Befica's dresser, an old dresser, judging by the where the mirror broke a long time ago. I wonder why. Because she's so ugly, she broke the mirror. Oh! Oh, yeah, I could, uh, yeah, I could use her bed, because I could use, like, anyone's bed, apparently. Is there anything else in here I could scan? Oh. Oh, there's chocolate all the way out there. Okay. Well, if we if we need to get chocolate, we can do that. I can't scan these things, can I? Befica's decoy, decoy diary. What? As if I would leave my real diary out in the open. Nice try, though. Keep up that instinct, and maybe I'll learn my secrets. Ooh. So where's her real journal? It was the real journal, the one we saw back at the Flavor Falls, or uh, whatever that place was called. And then here's Gramble. Oh, hey, how's it going? Let's chat. Goodbye. No, I'm not going to talk to him right now. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, I do want to catch more critters for him and then bring him back. Oh wait, what is uh What's that? What is his name want? How's it going? What do you want, Philbo? You look excited. He has a thing above his head. Philbo wants to talk to you. A small celebration. What's this about? You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Befica here. She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. A welcome back party? Well, only a few people are back. Is that a little bit too early? Yeah, let's do it. I'm not ready yet. Should we do it right now? Or should we wait until we have more people here, or maybe even all the people back? You know what? I'm kind of curious. Let's do it. What's this? Oh my god, a stereo. Can I change it? I guess that changed the music. <laughs> Phil was dancing! Mingle with the party guests. Zero out of three. Let's talk to Wambus. Well, howdy, stranger. 
Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. <laughs> just a savage. He's just outwards, just like, we are not friends. <laughs> what is this thing, a balloon that's been popped, it looks like? Ramble doing over here. He's like looking at a kiwi, or a keyboard. Oh, hey, you remember Charwi? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Gramble, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Oh, yeah, what happened to him? It's not like your limbs turned into strawberries and, and rootles, or, uh, sh shrappies and rootles. <laughs> I'm getting the name of them right, right? And what about Bethka? Let's see, see what she has to say about this. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Man, everyone's a savage around here, especially Bevica. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woo! Drink, mingle, get wild. Uh, Be Bevica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? <laughs> With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, oh yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. Ooh. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. Ooh. I'm going to do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here. And don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Triffany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Triff me back so bad? Go find her yourself! Oh my gosh. What a party this was. Jeez, I guess... I guess... I guess Bivica got the drama she wanted. Jeez! I wonder if she, what does she have to say about this? OMG, that was so juicy! This party is now a 4 out of 10. Yeah, I knew she'd say something like that with all that drama cropping up. She went from a two to a four. Whoa, what does Grandma have to say about this? There, there, Charlie. Nothing to be scared of. Papa's not going to let those mean old grumpuses eat you. Okay, well, you better do a better job than you la did last time, apparently, <laughs> letting Philbo babysit. Oh, yeah, speaking of Philbo, what does he have to say about well, this? that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Look here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Whoa, I get to finally eat a bug snack? I'm not sure I want to eat that. My journalistic integrity forbids me. Down the hatch, let's do it. That's the spirit. Strabby. Oh my, where'd that come from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was that a bad idea? Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I, uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> don't worry about it. Give me some space. Yeah, don't worry about it. I, I was curious about it as well. I didn't know what was going to happen. All right. As long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair. I was puking in the bathroom. Small celebration complete. Oh, I didn't even talk to Wambus after, during the party. Whoops. What should I do? 
I guess I could talk to him. The big story return to return the grumps to Snacksburg. Four out of twelve, so we're about a third of the way through there. So that's interesting. And then conduct the interviews. We're done four out of twelve for those two. So we're doing some great progress there thus far. We have eight more uh, grumpuses to bring back to town here. So how about we continue that on? I think if I do, what should I do? He's just going to be like, oh, get all the grumpuses to come back. Till next time. So I don't think I need. Oh wait, hold on. The desert's open now. That wasn't open last time. Perhaps we can go to the desert now. Ooh. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. There's... Wait, Philbo? Hey. Wait, what are you doing in Philbo's place? <laughs> what is she doing in his house? He's got two frog guys. He had just one last time. What is she doing? Let's chat. Mm, bug snacks are totes delish. 10 out of 10 would eat again. I could just sit here eating bug snacks all day. So I do. Are you just rubbing that in my face knowing that I'm allergic? Mm, don't miss me too much. Always stirring up drama here. Did I ever scan the frog? Grumpy baby. Seems like Philbo collects these beanbag dolls. Cute. Yeah, I, I think I said something about, oh, if I find more of those, maybe I can bring them back and he'll do... Oh, toilet <laughs> He's got, like, rolls of toilet paper up there. Ew. Oh, it's still scanning that thing. A sharp-tongued so socialite snoop. My bestie, apparently. And Philbo says, Befika's attention to detail is great. She notices everything that's wrong with me. <laughs> Jeez. That's savage as heck. Can I scan his backpack? No, I can't scan that. Nothing else in here. See, I'm just trying to be uh, an investigative journalist, trying to see what all is going on here in Snacksburg, and make sure I document everything for my journalistic integrity and all that kind of jazz. Oh, what's this? Lisbert and Egabel. Ooh, we found their place. We didn't... Befka say something about a projector? Pick a film to insert. Ooh, can I pick up this? I can. New clue, you picked up a video diary. Check your journal for details. Ooh. What was that about? Video diary? Is that here? It is! Can I play it still? A worn projector tape found in Lisbert's hut. Number one, video diary number one. I can still play it. I'm back in town after a narrow escape from a pack of vicious bug snacks. Just in time for a gorgeous doctor to treat my grievous wound. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. Oh, well that stings! And after I face those snacks just for you. Don't joke around. I, I don't want you taking risks to impress me. But you are impressed, yes? Ow, 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 ow. You're lucky it's such a shallow cut. And stop squirming around or I'll have to restrain you. Hiccupill? <laughs> Not while the camera is on. Trying to look strong for your audience? <clears throat> so, how's it look, Bill? I'll be up and hunting soon. No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Igabel, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> Speaking of, you haven't seen the haul from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack. Whoa. You'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me. What was that little guy? It's like a weird spring thing that she had. Ooh. So yeah, she adventures around and oh, and here's the paintings of Liz Burton Agabel. It's like the can I zoom out? Yeah, I can. It's like that like 90s like school picture thing here. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. Yeah, Agabel's like a doctor, as we heard earlier, and Lisbert is the oh. Okay. Ooh, locked. Pick a key. Cabinet. Is this a no, it's not a cabinet, it's a trunk, isn't it? Oh wait, one of the just open there for a split second. Uh, I guess we could try both of them. Nope, that didn't work. Diary key? Nope, that didn't work either. So we do need to get, like, a trunk key or something here to open that up, I assume. Oh, we have more... I'm gonna open up this. Oh, I... Okay, that... Yeah, that was the cabinet, obviously. Why does she have a skull in here? And a trophy and a map? And an, oh, wait, and I can pick that. Oh, wait. No, I just picked up the second video diary right there. Okay. Picked up a video diary. Check your journal for details. All right. Guess we'll see what that's about. Can't do anything there. And what's that say? New... New Grump City Times. What does that say? Cryptid spotted downtown. What is that supposed to be Bigfoot? <laughs> what does that other thing say? Is this Grumpus or Grumpfoot? <laughs> wow, the memes here. Oh, whoa, what happened there? Oh, that's the padlock, just kind of on the ground there. I guess we could shut that and we could play the other uh, thing. What, what, what does it say about number two, though? A dusty projector tape uh, locked away in Lisbert's cabinet. Let's see what this one says. Why'd she lock this one away specifically? Video diary number two. Surprise! I'm back early! And have I got a story for you! Bill, are you okay? I'm worthless. 
That's not true. You're just having one of those days. Every day is one of those days. Did something happen? Everything happened. Trifany broke her leg. Cramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. That's... None of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I just sit here all day while everybody else is out there all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like when I cut my paw. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Bill. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you, too. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah, thanks, Liz. I'd fall to pieces without you. That's also the same bug snack that she gave her in the last video diary. I wonder what that one is. It seems to really cheer up Egabel and she's like addicted to him. And she also had like a curly fry arm, so obviously she ate a, uh, what was it called? A bunger? <laughs> I don't know why that name is so waggy to me. Oh, what is this? Oh, ew, I'm still naked. Oh, she's like drawing a uh, wiggle. Oh yeah, we need to, you still need to go to the beach. Wiggle's the singing person, wasn't she? I think so. Yeah, I definitely want to go back to the beach. Maybe get uh, Wiggle, recruit her back to Snacksburg, and then of course catch the few critters still on the beach. Now, what is this? She's like drawing the the lollipop dragonfly thing that we saw in that other place. There's like other variations of them, like a spirally lollipop there, a heart lollipop, and like is that the uh, is that like a I forgot what it's called. Rock candy, I think. I think that's what it's called. Rock candy. It's like a rock candy stick right there. And I don't know what that one's supposed to be. What's this? She's drawing the olive flying olive thing. I don't know what that thing is, right? Oh, whoops. I don't know what that thing is right there. Yeah, she's like drawing all these different creatures here. And uh, let's see what this says. Field sketches. Lisbert's lifelike drawing of bug snacks encountered in the wild. Yeah, she's a pretty good artist. She's drawing them this accurately. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else around here? Oh, pictures up here too. Can I scan that? I can't actually. What? There's Agabelle and Lisbert with a bunger, and Lisbert looks very enticed by the bunger. And obviously she ends up eating it because her arm turns into a curly fry, and Lisbert doesn't seem too happy there. And they both seem pretty happy there. There's Lisbert looking adventurous. There's Agabelle on the beach with a, a crabble in the background. And oh man, that's like everyone right there. Whoa! How many people are there? Is that 12? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hold on, that's 13 people. Why can't I only find 12 people then? Oh, is it is it because Philbo it was, was the 13th person, so it's not like I technically had to find him after that? Okay, maybe that's why. And then there's a Strabby down there as well, so... Okay, so the whole village here, Snacksburg, had 13 residents. And I don't know if that Strabby had his own... I, I guess it's maybe, uh... Maybe that was, like, Gramble's Strabby or something like that, which we heard Gramble had food poisoning, so... I wonder why he had food poisoning. Is that possibly what led him to be more loving of the bug snacks rather than wanting to eat them because he got food poisoning from them, maybe? Oh, 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 uh, what in the world is Befica doing? Uh, 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 she get caught doing something? I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom! <laughs> oh man, she's running straight towards the bathroom there, jeez. Maybe she ate a bug snack because she's uh, allergic too. Hey, Wham, but yeah, how, how's the farm doing now? Uh, let's chat. I only came out here for Triffany, but sometimes... I wonder if she'd do the same for me. Oh, we'll see you later. Yeah, see, I want to do something about that. I want, I want to see if we could find her and bring her back. I don't think anyone here wants How's to talk to me right now. Philbo, what should I do? Now, I don't think so. Have a good one. Yeah, I think we've already talked to everyone here basically, but uh, and we did a little bit of investigating around here as well. Oh, did we do a? Yeah, we did investigating around here already. That's her fake diary. Where's her real one? That was at it. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's just asleep in the bed. Yeah, it's nothing there. So forget about that. Yeah, I guess we'll go back to the uh, to the beach. So let's go back to the beach. Let's go get, uh, what was her name again? Wiggle? We can bring Wiggle, the singing person, back. As well as catch that pineapple thing. I don't know about the, the, the flying... Oh, oh, speaking of flying, look at that. Oh, that's the, that's the sweetie pie thing, but we heard a, a lovely sweetie pie. Yeah, see, that's the heart-shaped version of the lollipop. Zips around fast enough to evade traps, but eventually sits down to rest. Ooh, oh, and speaking of such... How did we, 
Oh, we never did catch the, uh... Can I, can I parkour up there? It's resting right now. Can I just pick it up? No, I can't. No! Oh, there's more of them around there. Look at that. Sweetie Pie, like, remains candy patch. Ooh, so I wonder... Because I know that it, 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 it... Hold on. Uh, let's get the trap. I know that it, like, rests here, right? I'll put the snap... Uh, snack trap there. Wait for it to get oh, oh, oh! Wait for it to get tired. Then we get... Boom! Nice! Okay, so that's how you catch the flying things. That's good to know. Let's get it. Lovely Sweetie Pie! Or, Lovely Sweetie Fly! Really cool. Oh, there's a Wiggle right there. I guess we can talk to her. Let's see... Put away. There you go. See what she has to say. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, I want to see if my strategy... Okay, nice. The crab will spawn back in over here. That's good. Why do I keep hitting that button? Uh, let's get the chocolate. Chocolate, yes. Yeah, sauce Slinger. And let's put... Boom! There you go. And we put a trap down. Actually, you, we, we don't need a trap for this, do we? Oh, yeah, look at that. It picked it up. Oh, pick it up. Oh, I got it with the net. It worked. Pinantula. We got the Pinantula. Pinantula. Now, what about the shell, though? Can I pick it? I can pick it up. Ooh. What if I could do anything with it, though? Let's get some chocolate. Just use some right there. Yeah, I can't just... I can pick it up, but I can't, like, use it, I don't think. Oh, then there's that, uh, that peel bug in there. And another Queeble. Now, what have we not gotten over here? Oh, yeah, these things. How do I get them, though? The sn snackery? Or snackery? Is this supposed to be like a da- Oh, it is supposed to be like a daiquiri, obviously. It's got the umbrella. Leaps in and out of the ocean. Needs to be caught mid-leap. So, can I do that? Can I- I can go into the water. That's good. And can I- Oh! Hold on. Let's see if I get, uh... Oh. Let's see if it I can get it whenever it comes down, maybe? No? How do I do that? Oh, 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 I got hit by something! Hold on, let, let me, let me, uh... What's it say about it? Uh, more info. Befica says, I want to have snacks on the beach. Yeah, we read that. What is it like, though? It doesn't say what it likes. Burrowing, flying, sweet. How would we catch one of those? Oh, there's the thing sleeping there. It needs to be caught in midair, though. I don't know how to do that. Maybe not these ones specifically? I can't get this because it's in the ground. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know. Hold on. Let's set the trap down and then whatever... Whenever it comes out of the sky, just for a brief split second, we might have a... an opportunity to catch it, perhaps. And... Oh, it didn't work! No! Man! Aw, oh, come on. Man, that sucks. Alright, well, let's get it back. Let's retrieve it back. Boom, there you go. So we can't catch that thing, at least for right now. Maybe we can later. Is there anything else around here? We already got the crab, I think. Oh, wait. Did we already put the crab? We got shrappies over here we can pick up. I guess we can pick them up, so... Let's get the thing. Nope. Hold on. Scan it. That's a hiding bush. Scan the other one. There you go. And let's see. Oh, wait. I have to get- Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh! There we go, we got the shrappy that time. Nice. I was about to say, I want to go move the heckin' trap over there, because we can see- No, it's a rasby! Rasby? It's a different thing! It's a little raspberry, it's not a strawberry. Whoa! Okay, so we have another creature. Boom, there's another one right there. Rasby! Rasby. <laughs> Chocolate. What's this? Fruity goop. This fruity, leafy glob is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear at night, but not when it's raining. So we might want to come back at nighttime. It's 2.26 p.m. It's going to be quite a ways away right now, unfortunately, but... Might be able to catch it and then bring it back, but we have four bug snacks. Well, three different bug snacks in our inventory right now. I assume it wants, uh, Gramble wants three, like, you know, a variety of creatures, not just like an abundance of creatures, right? Perhaps? Maybe. Uh, I guess we can get a Did we get a Queeble? I don't think we ever caught a Queeble, did we? And, and brought it back to him. We lured it back to him, but I don't know if we ever brought it back to Gramble for his donation bin, so, hmm. Let's see if we can get the, uh, the snack trap. There you go. So we can wait for the Queeble to come out of hiding. And then go near the trap. I think that's how we caught it last time, right? Just be patient with him. Then we'll go talk to Wiggle. Yep, there you go. We got him. There you go. I'm, all right, we got the Queeble. Yeah, okay, so we've got, like... How many how many more creatures are here in the uh, Simmering Springs? There's, like, an ant-type creature. We don't, we don't know about that just yet. Maybe that's the one that shows up at night. Oh, yeah, then about the grape thing. The grape skeeto. Where is that at? 4 p.m. to... Okay, 4 p.m. And those will start, start spawning in. So I guess for right now, because it's 2.50... We'll just go talk to uh, Wiggle over here and see what she says. And then by the time we're done talking to her, perhaps uh, the gre grape mosquitoes will be out and we can catch them too. See what she has to say. A 
Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. <laughs> yeah, we have the, uh, or we saw Elizabeth had the same autographed picture on her desk. <laughs> can you come back to Snacksburg? I wonder if she'll just come back if I just ask her like this. <gasps> You want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean butt snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pine and we'll see what we can do. What, she want pineapple hair or something like that? <laughs> Well, I already have a Pinantula right now. I guess I could catch another one? Because I want to give this one to Gramble, you know? Is there another one around here? Oh, yep, there's another one right there. Okay, let's hit it with chocolate. It's not necessarily hard to catch these things. Just hit it with that. Boom. Wait for that thing to come out. Actually, we don't even need the trap for, uh, for this, right? There you go, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Yes! He brought him out. And let's go pick him up before he goes back. There you go, we got the Pinantula. Perfect. I wonder if, if she tells us to get a, uh, a, a, a snackery or whatever that thing was called, then uh, surely she'll be like, oh, you have to catch it this way, perhaps. So maybe that'll be a good way for us uh, to learn how to catch those things. Well, I've got the pineapple now. Let's feed her one of these. There you go. Pineapple. And give her some pineapple hair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that struck a chord. With a new head, I can think no thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. Ooh, this flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Uh, oh, 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 it's, it's Grape Skeeto time. 4 p.m. Nice. I was about to say, oh, we have to wait until the Grape Skeetos come out, but no, it's like right on to- Oh, is there- There it is right there! Is that must be what the, uh, the green stuff's for. Ooh, so how do we- This one plumps up and slows down if it eats another bug snack. So, what is it like? I might be able to cut- Love's chocolate. Okay, let's cover a Razzy thing. Or a rat. Ra what was it called again? I don't know. Wait for it to come out, and then we'll hit it with a- There we go. It's gonna plump up. Then maybe we can catch it. The trap. There we go, it's nice and thick now. Oh, I don't even need the trap for it. <laughs> it's so thick it can't even fly! Oh, let's catch another one. Grape Skeeto. Let's, let's do it, let's do another one. Let's hit another Razzy. Or ra whatever it's called. Let's get another Grape Skeeto, and then we'll, we'll donate this one. And... Oh, 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 perfect, perfect! And nice and thick Grape Skeeto! Boom! Skeeto! Grape Skeeto! Let's give it to, uh, to Wiggle over here. Let's give her one of these Grape Skeetos. What did she want, uh... She said she wanted the pineapple. I forgot what she wanted the Grape Skeeto for, though. Grape Skeeto! Oh, whoops, I just fed her right there. Uh, I guess anything? Left horn? Should not have a right horn? I guess not. Right hand, left hand. Should I do one of her hands so she could dance a little bit more? Maybe let's do right hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, ew! Oh, it's like a ew. Oh, I look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm, they gon' flow. Ooh, any second now. Come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, Oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. <gasps> Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two Pop-Ticks. Pop-Ticks? Is that like a Popsicle thing? It looks like a tick, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, perhaps. But I guess I, I thought we'd be able to give her all the stuff from the beach, but now I, I guess we have to go from 
pretty much to every biome, I assume. That, that, that seems like a pretty good little gimmick for her. She uh, wants different bug snacks from like every biome and that kind of incentivizes you to go around and go to every biome and catch them. Oh wait, is that the- Oh, that is the creature. That's the other- that's the other- is that a different type of shishka bug? What is that thing? Tropica bug. Stays hidden forever once scared, or at least until an aggressive- aggressive snack attacks. Loves hot sauce or whatever, fears the crab. Now how can I bring the crab over here? Hmm. And it, it just goes around in circles, so I doubt I'm able to just catch it like this. Oh. Oh! No! It's going to- oh man. I think it's just like the- hold on. Is there a- is there a Tropica fruit or whatever? Closer to the beach though? Because I don't know if I want to bring a crab guy all the way up there. Oh, I might have to. Man. Alright, well, I guess I'll, uh... Hold on, how do I get rid of this again? Let's get rid, let's get rid of our trap. And I guess we'll, we'll make a big line of... Retrieve. There you go. Make a big line of chocolate. Going from the beach. There you go, Crabble. Come over here. Oh, he's afraid, though. Oh my god, the Razzies are so cute sounding. So cute sounding and so cute looking, too. There you go, see if we can get the, uh... There you go, he's, a, he's attracted to the chocolate, that's good. The Razzies are attracted to the chocolate as well, how do I bring him over here? To bring him all the way up there. What, what is his path, though? I'm, I'm gonna have to scan him. There you go. Okay, so his path goes to there, so we might be able to... Boom. Well, the Razzies are attracted to... Oh, wait, oh, oh, the, oh, the crab is... Oh. He's getting scared. See, I don't know how to bring him over here. I need I need him to come over here and bring the the, the, the the thing out of the bush. Yeah, see, there it is right there. No, that's a Queeble. Hiding bush. Hmm. I don't know how to bring it out of there. Is there one up here? Uh, surely not, because there's no water up here for it to hang out inside of. Man. I feel like we kind of... And there's a... That can, oh, wait. Oh, oh, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. Hold on. Snack trap. Let's, let's, let's scan it. Let's learn its path. Oh, it goes around in a bigger circle. We might be able to get it. Might be able to get it. Hold on. Ooh. How should I do this? Well, it's got like a shrimp. It's got like pineapple chunks. It's got like an apple or something there. Let's wait for it to come around. Boom! We got it! We got the Tropica bug. Nice! Yeah, look at that. It's got like grilled pineapple. What was that first? Tropica bug. Tropica bug. <laughs> what, what was that first thing that we saw on it? Hold on. Which, which one was it? Oh, it was this one. Hold on. Oh, this is the Tropica bug, and that's the Shishka bug. Simmering Springs, that's this. Oh, it's like an onion for its head. And it's got like a grilled pineapple there, and then a, a shrimp butt. So it's like a Shishka bug, but for the beach. Interesting. So that's cool that we caught that. Maybe we can go donate that one. Speaking of such, I bet our backpack's full. No, it's not. Actually, pretty close to being full, though. Is there anything else over here? Looks like Gramble left his backpack over here. Can I do anything? Uh, any scanning? Hiding bush, pinantula hiding. Now, can I get that one, though? That one might be a little easier to get. If it comes out of the... Ah. Uh. Hold on. Oh! Ah, man, my trap's all the way over there. Let me let me try and... How would I do this? Snickety, snickety! I don't know if it'll work. I, I, I feel like my trap's going to go flying in the sky, though. Yeah, see, it's not giving me an opportunity to catch it. Oh! Yeah, see, it gets hit, but... I don't know how to get it. Definitely have to come back here and try and figure out how to how to catch the snackery, though, so that... That kind of sucks, but... We did get a lot of bug snacks over here, so I'm not complaining one bit. We have, uh... Hold on, let's look at our backpack. How many different creatures do we have? Like, actual different ones. We have the Queeble, Pinantial S, 2, 3... Four, five, six. So I think we're pretty good right now, you guys. Let, let's go back to Gramble. Let's go. Let's go donate these six different bug snacks to his farm, and maybe we'll get even more inventory space for our backpack. That's going to be great because we need to go to the desert. We saw the deserts open. We need to get this like pop tick. We need to bring those back to uh, Wiggle, and then maybe after that, hopefully she'll uh, want to come back to Snacksburg. But let's do some donations. Green grape mosquito. Let's do that. Boom, and. There it is right there. It's still thick. <laughs> it's still so fat it can't fly. Uh, do we have a Queeble over here, though? I He locked it up because he doesn't want anyone stealing and eating his bug snacks, so I can't really check. But uh, Oh, and yeah, we do have the apple, uh, the crabble back there. Let's give him a lovely sweetie fly. The love, the heart-shaped uh, one. A Razby. There you go. There's one right there. 
And now we're at 9 out of 12 right now. If I do a second Raspy, is it going to go to 10? I don't know if I want to myth bust that right now. Let's do the Tropica Bug next. There you go. Pinantula. I doubt I've done that because I've only just now caught him. So let's do that. And Queeble. I feel like I've given him one of these before. So let's, let's do some myth busting. Let's, let's give him a second Raspy and see if he hits 100% here. Hey, it works. Okay, so we can just catch the same creatures over and over again and he'll be fine. Huh. The size of your heart has grown, and so is your inventory space. Keep donating to keep growing. Snack pack upgrade. Now, is it up to 10 or something? Oh, man, that's a lot of spots right there. It's up to 12. You get four more slots every time you get a... You keep donating. Now, can I continue to donate? 18! I can give him a Queeble. There you go. So that's one out of 18 right there. But holy... So... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at this. You can get up to 18 slots here, it looks like. Looking at the snack pack right there. So that's interesting. Uh, I assume we'll be able to max out pretty easily once we go to the desert, but I think we're going to be doing that next time we come back, because the episode's getting pretty long once again, you guys. Time just flies when I play Bug Snack. I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe I'm just so addicted to it. <laughs> Anyways, might as well re-up on all the stuff over here. And I wonder if the desert's going to... It's, it's got to have some sort of plant. Like chocolate for the beach. Ketchup for the... Uh, can I open up the map? Uh, there it is right there. Ketchup for Garden Grove. Flavor Falls had ranch. Did Simmering Springs? Oh yeah, Simmering Springs had the chocolate, and Snacksburg doesn't have anything because I guess that's just our central hub, you know. So, and I think over here is the desert. So what's all the way over here then? And over here, and up here, that's that's probably like a cold mountain area up there. That's what it looks like. So it's like right there ish. That's probably what that would be, honestly. And I don't know what this could be over here. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but until then, I guess we'll end the episode off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out. So you oh, don't hey, oh. buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh personal issues uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone you know it won't get you closer to Lisbert but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others I've already been doing that I've been doing favors for them and stuff like that that was kind of weird though he kind of wrote me in there to say that <laughs> I don't know where I was in my outro but you know hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos and be sure to hit the bell down there as well because this series is still just being uploaded randomly right now so if you guys hit that bell you'll be notified as soon as a new episode of bug snacks comes up but until then thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks oh bye there